So we started the website, we built the website, we did everything we needed. But when it was time to start marketing this website, we were, it was out of our capacity. And then we discovered we don't have the enough money. Hi, welcome again to another episode of Medicine Minefields. I've got a special guest with me today. And he is Moses, and he is he's a founder of a company, Import for You. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, um, what, what one thing that fascinated me? They, um, Moses has got a very um, inspiring story, and I feel that it's important for him to share it because when I heard about his story my first question to him was weren't you scared you know why weren't you weren't you scared to actually get a jump to you know to get into this sort of business you know we know that e-commerce is a very very competitive uh, industry and it's amazing how um what his thoughts were on that with regards to he had to do something he was in the position where he had no choice but to do something. So I feel that uh, Moses, it's very important that you share your story. So Moses, what is the? Can you share your story uh, to the audience? What is your? Uh, what is the story behind Import for you? Why did you start? Why did you get into it? Yeah, actually, I started Import for you. It has no brand when I started it. I. Uh, that by that time I was just damned and broke and I had nothing on me then. So, but I always remember I had a friend in China mm -hmm. who knows the heart of e-commerce and knows how to, to you know, help people ship to different countries. So I contacted him and said, uh, why not let us start something here in Africa? Mm -hmm. And um, I told him, okay, we don't have the money to start selling or mm -hmm. start buying ourselves. We don't have that kind of money at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I told him, but one thing we can do is we can approach people with the money and tell them we can help them import from different countries and then bring it down to them in Africa and they can sell to their customers. Yeah, so I started advertising on my Facebook page and then every other pages on my social accounts. Mm -hmm. And then the more I was promoting after five days of promotions and then advertising to people on my page. So someone messaged me and then the person has to be my first client. Mm -hmm. and then it went successful then and then from there i got more inspiration and i, I was motivated motivated more to work towards that passion so there we started saving money making more money and then mm -hmm. got to a point we said now it's time we start importing with our own money and they start mm -hmm. selling in africa because here in africa people are ready to buy when so far mm -hmm. your goods is ready to serve them mm -hmm. what they want yeah um the amazing thing is that the fact that you just you just started you know you just said oh, you don't have the money i'm just going yeah. to go ahead and start it and i know that money is the main thing that stops a business either from growing or stops a business stops someone from starting because a lot of people yeah. say oh i want to start a business but i don't have the funds for it for this i don't have the money what would you say for someone that is saying that yeah um, there are some businesses out there like actually they need the money to start it mm. and there are some business that like you can still like go through some process even without having the money you can still be successful most but it also come to a service um you're rendering to the people out there so maybe someone renting a service and you can just promote that kind of service online because the online has given us a lot of leverage you understand we have a lot of leverage online you can just promote to people because you don't know who is your customer mm -mm. yet until someone patronizes you you understand so we just promote you just promote your service but people who don't have the money and the business needs a lot of capital to start um they just have to be encouraged and then do whatever they think they can do mm -hmm. to get the money but not venturing into something illegal to get money but yeah. just why yeah. did you make a decision that i'm going to have a business even though I have a job. What was the, uh, why did you do that? Yeah, the, actually the job I was doing there was a remote job, not like mm -hmm. I go to an office or I sit in an office, no. It was mm -hmm. just a remote job. So when they have any job there for me, they come to me, okay, we want to develop this website for a particular client. So please can help us develop the website. So I do it remotely. And then when I'm done with the website, I get back to them through their email or 
they connect the social accounts and then they see the reserve and then they pay me back. And any obstacles, what are the obstacles or mistakes that you've faced? Um, there's a very interesting story that you, 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 you told me. I would like if you can share that. Okay, um, that was um, in 2017. Mm. My friend and I we decided to start a to start a company. Then also an e-commerce firm. Then, but we were targeting like um, we can do this business anywhere in the world. So we started the website. We built the website. We did everything we needed. But when it was time to start marketing this website, we were, it was out of our capacity. And then we discovered we don't have the enough money to get this thing started. So we just and that time the business had to shut down. And then we have to venture back into the import for you dream back mm -hmm. then. And then we just had to continue with the goal and started small. And we start as we started small, we're growing bigger and then bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And until we are import for you. So we were able to like now bring because import for you started as a e-commerce um a procurement company, like helping people to buy, like I said earlier, helping mm -hmm. people to buy from other countries and then bringing it to them in Africa. Africa so yeah. we were able to when we were able to start to add enough money from that mm. service and from the job mm. I had, so we were able to venture into e-commerce because we don't, even though a friend brought an idea of drop shipping, but I was like, no, I don't want drop shipping service. Mm. I want something, a product I will buy. I will now be in charge of the product and then I can dispatch locally myself to the people. So yeah. that was why. The, so the problem we had, the first failure we had was trying to start big with a low income where everything crumbles you know what it's very it's a story that i have been hearing it's a story that i have <laughs> been a victim of because we all have brilliant visions you know i've got vision you've got vision we know where we want to be but the thing is unfortunately a lot of us want to start where that vision is right yeah. not knowing that if there is a process is there's a growth process and your your strategy for growth is dependent on what level you are in isn't it so yeah. you know you will see all the big the the the, uh, the co companies like uh, amazon or, or and the likes of them you know that are um that are specializing and, and you know and the big companies doing this uh, um this e-commerce uh, uh, business and we want to be like that which is fine it's a great thing to aspire to but however yes. it's at the same time it's very important to understand where are you right now and what is your obvious next step you know yeah. and that yeah. is what i got from what you're saying and and if you have one lesson to uh uh, one lesson to say to the audience, what is it that lesson would be? What do you feel that you have learned that someone can okay. actually benefit from? Yeah, um, I would like to start with a very short story with that mm -hmm. because we we'll learn, we'll learn in the process. Yes. So maybe reading, it might be coming across some people who just learn in the process or you learn from others. So when I started Import For You, when I got my first sales, like I said earlier, when I got my first sale, the person that bought my product was a prominent internet marketer in Nigeria. So when the deal was successful and I was able to get the product done to him successfully from China, then mm -hmm. he was so happy. And then I speak to him like, if you can recommend me to his friend, because I know a prominent internet marketer will also have many friends that are like him. So I was like, if you can recommend me to him, like I'm a, I'm a new company here and I'm, can, I'm ready to give the best of myself because I'm new. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be like the bigger companies that are, you know, you know they, most bigger companies don't have this capacity to, go to serve to the extent the customer wants sometimes. Yeah, to personalize so, it, yes. Yeah, so I said, I'm new and I'm ready to serve the best of the people. And mm -hmm. then he recommend me to his friends and there I started knowing more people, started having connection with more internet marketers in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And from mm -hmm. there, I, well, I come across a particular man who also teach um, internet or social media marketing. That was how I speak up with him like, oh, Please, can you teach me how to sell through Facebook marketing and then Instagram marketing? And he knows all this ad world marketing. Mm -hmm. So I speak to him and then I said, um, can you please put me through all this kind of thing? So he said, there's no problem. He charged me some money and hopefully I was able to afford the money mm -hmm. then. So I paid him the money and then he said I should come down to his house. And then he put me through for three days then. And then I know social media marketing through that process. I understand the social media marketing system. And then from there, I learned the lesson like, 
you have to always speak up when you know you need something and you know people that can give you that thing just speak up even if they're going to reject you or they're going to mm. collect a price for it just speak up first mm. so that's the lesson i've learned yeah because yeah it's very very critical because if you don't speak you know no one can actually know what's in your mind no no one is a, a no one is a soothsayer no one can say okay this is what is in your mind you have to speak out and say this is the um this is the problem and you know what i, I from what you just said uh, why I believe that maybe some people can't speak out. And one of the shows that actually that's going to come on uh, clips is someone speaking and uh, talking about confidence um, is lack of confidence and self-esteem because maybe people are scared of um, rejection. They're scared of someone saying no. And yeah, yeah. no, it's fine. I think we need to embrace no as, as we embrace yes. And know that yeah. no, it's okay. We just need to find out why did they say no, and then improve on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for any one of you watching or listening, uh, you've heard the story. Do not let money be uh, a hindrance. It could be, but there is always a way. Now, if you have any questions, if you have any comments with regards to this uh, episode, I'll drop them down in the comment section or you uh, connect with me on my Facebook and Instagram page. Now, Moses, um, if someone wants to import to Africa and wants to find out more about how you can help them, where should they connect with you? How should they connect with you? Where should they, where, uh, where do they go to? Okay, um, if they want to connect with me, I, they can connect with me on my website or the social media page. So mm -hmm. the website is the import for you .net. And if it's um and your social media channels, what is that? Um import for you and then for East, for Facebook is import for you, for Instagram is import for you underscore net. Okay, so Instagram is import for you underscore net. Yes. Okay, great. So you've heard the, you've, you've heard Moses, if you want to import to Africa or you're looking to collaborate, um, Moses is there for you. you. You've heard his story. If you're experiencing the same thing and you have more questions, as I said, drop it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer your question. And if I can't, I can always connect to it and Moses as well. So. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Moses, for joining me. And as I said, uh, audience, as you're watching, if you want to connect with me as well, my Instagram and Facebook page at Tommy Abibu or my website. That's TommyAbibu.com, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this video is all the videos for the Meet and Mindfield shows are also now being uploaded on my website. And then that should be available for you to watch uh, full episodes. If you're watching on YouTube, you're probably watching clips of the uh, video. But if you want to watch um, the full episode, you can um, go to my website, tomiabibu.com. Thank you for joining me today in another episode of Myths and Minefields. And I hope to see you in my next episode. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.